Peggy 12. Hello everyone, I'm Yozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. And I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, the director on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. First, let's have a look at the new trailer. Enjoy! These creatures consume life. Those who let themselves be lured into the trap will be whisked away by a swift game, the embodiment of darkness, as they are slowly drained of their life. The darkness will show itself, basking in the night. On my honor as a knight, I will end you. We will prevail! A worthy adversary indeed! Sorry to keep you waiting. We must bring peace back to Kumura and the Kingdom! Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is a massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise. It's slated for release on June 30th, 2022. A new story will unfold at a new base with new locales, monsters, actions, and the addition of the Master Rank, allowing you to delve even further into the world of Monster Hunter Rise. Now I'll pass the baton to Mr. Suzuki to tell you more about the trailer you just saw. Thank you. Let's have a look at the footage again, and I'll provide some extra info as we go along. Let's start with the new monsters. First off, we have Suregios, the flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Seregios is characterized by the sharp blades on its legs, which it uses to attack enemies by diving down on them from the sky. It also sheds sharp scales called blade scales. Some of its attacks will cause the bleeding status on the hunter, so extreme caution is advised. The designers were very meticulous in how Seregio stores and unfolds its scales and horns, so we hope you pay extra attention to that as well. Next, let's have a look at two new subspecies of monsters that appear in Rise. First, we have Aurora Somnicanth. It releases a perpetual cold air to freeze things around it, and even slide around on the ice to attack hunters. The normal species attacked with a sleet-inducing powder, but this subspecies exhales a powerful ice breath. 
Next up, there's Magma Almadron. It lives in the lava caverns, and when it digs into the ground, it adopts a red hue, indicating that it's in a special heated state. It also uses the magma on its tail to attack its prey. We've also added new actions for the hunter, as well as more powerful master rank versions of the monsters that appeared in Rise. For instance, Aknasom now has a backstep and somersault attack to give it even more combo potential. And T-Grex can now combo from a bite into a spin attack. If you thought you were already used to fighting these monsters in Rise, there are quite a few surprises in store for you. Moving on, let's take a look at the flagship monster for this game, who also made an appearance in today's trailer, Malzino. Malzino is a fearsome elder dragon who has brought Fearrain's kingdom to the brink of ruin many times in the past. It commands mysterious creatures that it uses to capture monsters and absorb their energy. It displays both a certain sense of beauty and elegance, as well as vicious cruelty when it catches its prey and consumes their life force. It fights hunters with a variety of attacks, so it's incredibly dangerous. Some of its attacks will cause the Blood Blight status as well. If a hunter succumbs to Blood Blight, they enter a battle of life force with Malzino, which they must overcome to survive. It's said that if Malzino manages to absorb a hunter's life force, it evolves into an even more powerful form. It's very risky, but definitely worth seeing with your own eyes. Malzino's design was based first and foremost on a vampire motif. It being an elder dragon, we had to figure out what kind of calamity it would cause, and the designers incorporated elements of aristocracy, nobility, grandeur, and cunningness into their concept arts. Based on that art, we hammered out further details, which resulted in the current design. The elements I just mentioned are woven into its theme music as well. The composer managed to turn it into a really cool song, so please give it a listen in the game. All right, time to go. I'm proud to join you on your quest. Now let's talk about followers. In Sunbreak, some quests allow you to take story characters known as followers along with you to hunt together. These follower quests are single player only, so we hope you'll have fun running around the locales with your favorite characters. Each follower has their own weapon specialization. During quests, they'll recover your health, place traps, and sometimes even ride monsters, so they're very useful to bring along. You'll gradually unlock more characters to pick from as you advance in the game. For the characters from Elgato, you'll be able to take Fiorain, Luchika, Jay, Admiral Gallius, and Master Arlo with you. As for Kamura, you'll be able to bring along several characters in addition to Hinawa and Minoto, who already made their appearance. These colorful characters are sure to make your hunts even more fun, and you can even earn exclusive rewards, so make sure you try them out. Now, let's move on to the new player actions. Rise introduced various new gameplay elements, like the Wire Bug and Wyvern Riding. Sunbreak will expand on these elements even further, with more features and tweaks. Let's have a look at the new Switch Skill Swap function first. This game adds a variety of new Switch Skills, including new Silk Bind attacks. You'll now be able to swap between different sets of switch skills on the fly using the new switch skill swap function. You can register two loadouts in advance, so you can use two sets of switch skills during your quests. This lets you combo silk bind attacks and gain their synergized effects. 
Swapping sets at the right moment and making the most out of every situation allows more freedom and creativity in your playstyle. Now let's say you need to avoid a monster attack or distance yourself from a monster while swapping skill sets. That's where the swap evade comes in. Swap evade lets you quickly change your position while swapping sets. Switch skill swap and swap evade will give you a lot more freedom when moving around the battlefield. We've also added a wide variety of tweaks. For instance, you can now go into a wall run without using a wire dash first, and you can pick whether to ride a monster or keep attacking it when it's in a mountable state. There are various options to change the original controls to new controls. There's even more new tweaks like that, but we'll tell you more about that at a later date. We plan to release introduction videos for the new Silkbind attacks and switch skills for all 14 weapons according to the schedule shown on screen. We hope you look forward to how these new Silkbind attacks and the switch skill swap are going to change the action in Sunbreak. We've also got some new short clips for Sunbreak that'll teach you some new useful tips for your hunts. Make sure to follow the official Twitter account so you don't miss out. That's all we have to share regarding the new gameplay elements today. Hope you enjoyed it! Now, let's have a look at the product information for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. If you already own the physical version or the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise and you just want to buy Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, all you'll need is the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. For the digital version, we are also offering the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which includes add-on content. There will also be a Monster Hunter Rise Plus Sunbreak set, including both the main game and the expansion, for players who want to start Monster Hunter Rise from the beginning. All of these versions include special purchase bonuses, so grab them while you can. The exclusive bonuses are layered armor for your Palico and Palamute. Make sure to pre-order the game so you don't miss out. We will also be releasing three new amiibo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Each of these amiibo unlocks a special layered armor. We've also got some news about peripherals. A Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak edition of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller will be made available. This is a special version of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller with a Malzino design on the front. All of this product information is also available on the official website. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is now available for pre-order. We hope you check it out! If you have saved data of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, you'll be able to unlock the Navaru costume layered armor for your Palico in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Of course, you'll also be able to use the Rider Series Hunter layered armor and the Tsukino costume that are unlockable in Monster Hunter Rise. That's all of the news for now. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. We will also be releasing several free title updates after that. We'll have more to share with you on the free updates and other new info around June, so there's a lot to look forward to. Thank you for tuning in to today's special Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event.